What's up everyone, welcome back to Sekiro. Uh, since the last episode I warped back to the Kuro's room area. I mean, it's not the proper name for it, but that's what I call it. We have some things to do here, mainly concerning the plot. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if he has any unique dialogue. Yeah, he does. We're gonna need to do something here to unlock the ending. The good old moron blade. Which we have. Hopefully I'm not screwing this up here. The take a bong hit before. It's the ultimate solution, isn't it? I appreciate it. Anyways, there is this window right here. And if you unlock it and go outside, you will be able to get some unique dialogue. Of Kuro talking to himself. And we're gonna have to do this a couple of times. Uh, which really involved just resting, you know, and doing this over and over again. A la classic Dark Souls. Here we go, dialogue num numero dos. He talks about Genichiro and all that. Don't worry, this will, this will all pan out. Here we go. Is that it? Did he move? Okay, I think we might be getting, getting somewhere here because one of the triggers is for him to move because that causes Emma to move up here. This is new shit. I've not like seen or heard this before. This is the first time I'm going for this ending. So we're gonna listen to this. Trying to get cinematic here. So yeah, this game normally does end in child murder, um, which is a little bit strange. It's the only Souls game that has an ending like that. But it's not the only way we can end this. Excellent. Of course we agree. We need a new ending and a new trophy as well. Do we have to do shit here as well? Nice, it's a conspiracy. I like it. Cool, cool, cool. Imagine that, we got a rest. Now, this is the part where I get a little bit doubtful. Nice. It's working. It's maybe not working. I'm not sure. Let's get her. Maybe we should get her drunk and then that's gonna like. That's gonna like assist. I guess we just gotta like. 
progress here. This is what we gotta like take care of or like look at. Okay, so here we are in the sunken... Whoa, okay. Let's just be careful here. Here we are in the sunken valley passage. Uh, this is where we need to go. I, th I think this is where we need to go. I seem to remember this being the sort of next major area. But... If it's not, I guess you won't even see this. So, what's the issue? There is no issue. So this is going to be a stealth area. Oh, this guy's like unique. Because he's in the fucking poison swamp like an idiot. Reduces poison build. Interesting. I didn't know this was a thing. Green messy gourd. Huh. Well, cool. I should purchase some antidotes, but I think I actually have some. It shouldn't be too much of a problemo. So the deal with this area is that we have the fucking s fuck. First we have that. I forgot about that. Never mind. So that's the first thing about this area. The second thing about this area is that we have a, a motherfucking serpent here. Oh, do these guys not die? Fucking hell, it's dark. Yeah, let's just be careful. Don't worry, there will be a time where we'll have to get past the snake. Of course there will be. I should have purchased that thing, shouldn't I? Uh, I have five antidote powders. It's not the worst. So we should be still okay. It's just, I don't know, man. This is a nerve-wracking area. Fuck. Where do you go from here? Oh, here, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Grab on. This might seem a little bit messy. The way I'm handling this place. And that's because it is. Oh, fuck. The snake. And I don't remember. Because that motherfucker is staring you down, boy. So you gotta get over there, right? Uh, that's not... I think mean, that kind of worked. Oh, man. I think what you gotta do is... Not that. It's not what you gotta do. Um... Yeah. Cool. I immediately got annihilated. So, what's gonna happen now is a cut. The magic of editing. Oh, there's a monkey here. I'm back, by the way. 
I remember what you have to do. Fuck, I remember what you have to do. You have to puppet control this monkey. I think that's what it is. Because here you're just gonna get immediately, yeah. Like somehow, by some miracle, I managed to land back where I was supposed to. That's what you have to do. You need that puppet control shit. Because then the snake attacks the monkey. And then you're like all Gucci to... Yeah, that's the one. Okay, well, let's go back. Okay, we are back and we have Puppeteer. Just need to use... I need to check how to use it. R1 after backstab death blow. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, at least I'm like 90% sure that this is what you have to do. I seem to remember this monkey being specifically here for this. And then, do you have to go back? That's what I... Fuck, that's what I don't remember. Oh, it's killing it. Go, 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 go! That's what we want. It's actually not what we want. We don't need the Serpent Viscera. Uh, but if I remember correctly, this is the place that allows you to... progress with the game, I'm really hoping. That I did, did not just fuck it up. Um, I mean, I definitely... Hmm... I definitely don't remember. Oh. Cool. I remember. Don't fall off, bitch. It's just so dark here. What the fuck? Cool. Oh, it's this way. I'm trying to get desperately to that treasure where, and where it's like... Yeah, whatever. So this is the place... where we need to progress. And believe me, progress we will. The serpent you can fight. But it ain't the easiest. Here we are, Ashina Depths. Depths, depth, depth. That's a weird. That, that's one of the strangest words ever. Always feel feels weird saying it. Depths. And what we have here is mini bosses, boy. Lots and lots of mini bosses and actual bosses. So we have this little area here where we have more of these um, these sharpshooter type deals. There's a couple of them all over the place. So we just gotta like, you know, be tactical in how we take them out. And there is a way to do this without sort of like alerting anyone to your presence. You can be a real stealthy boy here if you want. Knowing my stealth skills, which have not been the greatest so far, I'm definitely gonna get noticed. Oh, and then there's one patrolling. Just pass. We we are going for the mini boss here. So we have a different snake eyes. I should have puppeteered. 
Oh well. Quickly kill this guy. Not like that. Cool. And get back down to ground level. That deals a lot of damage. Holy shit, that deals a lot of damage. Okay, you don't want to fuck with her. But this is the exact same boss fight as the, the previous one. Uh, in fact, I'd say it's easier because you can, you know, get, get a stealth backstab here. And, you know, it just makes the whole thing. Ooh, guard broken. Oh, thank fuck she knocked me down. Don't know if the loaded spear actually... I mean, it seemed to do... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, that's what... That you need to be careful about. Okay. I nearly got this. Ichimonji into death. It's how you do it. Do I have four prayer beads? I think that said I have four prayer beads. And that makes things much better for the next boss fight. Because the next boss fight is very close. And it is not one that I look forward to. Um... Believe me. This boss fight is Mr. Struggle, for sure. Still, we can loot everything here. Take the time, you know. To play Spider-Man. God, I don't even remember the last time I've played a Spider-Man game. Probably like... The second one, Spider-Man 2, the classic. Shit, okay. Just ignore the fact that I fell off like an idiot. I don't normally actually get mo all of the treasure here. Okay, I'm just checking if I'm all loaded up. I think that's about as well loaded up as I can be for this next boss fight. Because this shit ain't easy. Maybe the finger whistle would work. Although I'm not 100% sure. Because it's supposed to be strong against like monster type enemies. Like beast type enemies. There's a homie here. Yeah. You kind of saw this coming, didn't you? And he did. Please give me your cash. He ain't gonna... So, yeah. There is another ape. Specifically, there is no other ape. This is the exact same ape as we fought before. Unbelievably... They recycle this fucking boss. And you gotta fight him again. If it wasn't enough... To have him, you know... Make your life miserable once... Well, here he is doing it again. Oh, and believe me, he's gonna make that life miserable. I did not use my prayer beads. Did I? I did not. I think this this was where I was supposed to use the loaded spear, but... That shit did not work out. Oh god, camera, please. 
least cooperate. So he has one very specific attack where, again, you can do your shit. Yeah, that's the deal. Uh, there is another fucking monkey. When I saw this, when I first played this game, I was like, they have got to be shitting me. So now you're fighting the guardian ape numero uno. First phase. Along with guardian ape second phase. And this thing is... This is one of the craziest boss fights in this game. The only saving grace is that this one doesn't have a lot of HP. And you gotta go unlocked here. And you just gotta, you know, pray like hell. I mean, it's a, you know, this is a... This is a Souls game tag team boss fight, so... You know, some of this does come down to just getting lucky. Um... If the moves sort of like work out badly, you can just like absolutely get shit on. Prime example, as it's happening to the boy right here. But you know, that's just that's just something you gotta deal with. You accept that this is bound to happen. You gotta bring out the firecrackers here. Because this monkey is weak to it, to them. This one, who... And I, I just got killed. So yeah, that's that's usually how this boss fight goes. Um, again, you guys, you guys have been around the block. You guys know about uh, tag team boss fights in all the Souls games. So... It's just, you know... It's just what it is. Cool. Well, let's do this again. Really, the thing you gotta nail here is... Um, the thing you gotta nail here is the... Um, the first phase of this guy. And you know, I, I was thinking I should've... I should have been more patient because what, the, what happens here is if you don't fight the guardian ape you come here first, you don't actually have to fight a boss here. Uh, this is only if you kill the guardian ape before. Okay, that did not work. Talk about nailing f first phase. Motherfucker. Last thing I want to do is get insta-killed. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I'm like worryingly frenzied or whatever this is called. This is not frenzy. Uh, feared or whatever. Cool. What, what is this status ailment called? I don't remember. Well, here you gotta chase him down a little bit. Yeah. Some free damage. See, that, that's what I'm talking about. So it, it doesn't have a lot of HP, the brown monkey. Okay, that's just... Ugh, oh, terror. It's called terror. I thought I was out of range for that. Fuck. Oh, they could have put a grapple point in this fucking boss room. On fucking brown monkey. Kill it. Quickly. Quickly. Grab. No. Kill it. I'm mashing like a. Ugh, I'm dead. I had it. I had it and he interrupted me. Well, we saw that coming, didn't we? Fucking hell. Okay. 
And I still got the unseen aid. Well, grassy gracias for that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to fix that. This is the type of situation you keep your dragon teardrops for. Um it's just crazy. This boss fight is crazy. Cool, phase one down. Easy part. Maybe I should use oh, why didn't I thinking of? Let's do vitality damage. Posture damage. I think this is the one we want. Or we could go for boosting attack power. Let's go for attack power. This brown monkey does drop from the same place every single time. I think. And immediately fucking haymakers me. Okay, this sugar ain't gonna like <laughs> pan out too well. Oh, he's not attacking, why not? Come on! Oh, now he's attacking. He's in there. He's in that ass. <sighs> You're hard to hit too. You'd think this would help, but it doesn't. Okay, switch of tactics. We're gonna use this. Meditate, bitch. Or strike a pose or whatever. God, you're impossible to hit. monkey coming okay kill him I nearly had him Fuck. there's so little HP left and I have so little heals left Come on, just get over here. I'm like Scorpion. Oh, fuck, yeah. Listen, if you kill the brown monkey, you do get a death blow back. Okay, we have a second lease on life, drop a pellet. Okay, there are no surprises here. He does not have new moves, so all I gotta do is not screw up. Tall order, right? That can happen anytime. This firecracker doesn't work. Cool, come on. Thought he was gonna go for it. You know what I thought. That he was gonna go for that. No! 
Okay, heal. I have no heals left. Oh, come on. Why is it always got to be like this? You're dead. You're dead. Fuck. Right. Off. Pull that shit out. And decapitate that worm looking motherfucker. And I think we can, yes we can, moron blade this bitch. As we should have done the first time around. Before this thing wakes up. And that's what you want to see. Next time you fight the giant ape, make sure you get the immortality severed title flash before you. Otherwise he ain't dead. Hmm. Excellent. That was fun. And that is the technically third guardian ape, because you count the one with one HP. Man, that's one of the more difficult boss fights. It's just so chaotic. Kind of feels like not really it's not really made for this game's mechanics, but it's one phase and you can <clears throat> blaze through it pretty easily. The most annoying thing is obviously if you mess up and you die on the third phase or second phase of the of the ape that my friends is quite something obviously I don't speak from his experience as you probably know it's not how it is never happened to me to these guys I think these guys respawn, don't they? Whatever. I don't want to go too far into this new area because this is the new area where we're supposed to go, but conveniently placed statues next to each other. So why not take the chance? With this, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping up this episode of Sekiro. Um, yeah, new adventures, new places. We're going to continue here in the... What is this place called? Hidden Forest. There you go, the Hidden Forest. We'll pick it up from here next time. Oh shit, I just realized I didn't move my face cam. Uh, I'm a dumbass. Sorry, you know, it's Demon Souls recording this game and Demon Souls. Of course, every single Souls game has to have that shit in a different position. Whatever, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.